Hello friends, today we are going to perform an activity named automatic light. We have seen a lot of automated things around us which works automatically like for example automatic taps, automatic light etc. Have you ever thought of how it actually works? Let's try to make an automatic light with the help of IR sensor. In this activity we will learn how to interface an IR sensor with Arduino. The IR sensors are placed in such a manner that it detects the presence of a person inside a room to switch on and off a light. If a person is present inside a room, the lights will get on and if the person isn't present in the room, the lights will turn off. Before starting this activity, let's talk about IR sensor. What is an IR sensor? IR stands for infrared waves. IR sensor consists of a transmitter which is a IR LED and a receiver which is a photodiode. IR transmitter transmit IR waves. Those waves hits a object in its path and gets reflected back. Whenever the receiver receives the reflected waves, on the basis of that it generates a signal. That's all about the theoretical concepts. Let's start with the activity. In this activity, we are going to use the following components. Arduino Uno, USB cable, LED, IR sensor, 220 ohm resistor, male to male connecting wires, male to female connecting wires and a breadboard. In this code, we will be interfacing an IR sensor with Arduino and will be controlling a LED using the IR sensor. First, we will be defining a variable named data and we will be putting a value 0 in it so that it can be used in coding later on. Void setup. In this, we are using LED and IR sensor. So, LED is an output device. So, we have defined it and connected to pin number 2. IR sensor is a sensor. So, we have connected it to pin number A5 which is the analog 5 as in input mode. Then we are writing down serial dot begin 9600 means we are starting the serial communication through which we will be reading the values coming up from the sensor. Void loop. In this, we will be reading the value and putting it into the variable defined as data. So, digital read is the command which is used for reading a value from a digital sensor. Then, the pin number is being mentioned over which the sensor is connected and the value is getting stored into data. So, data equals to digital read A5. After that, serial dot print ln data this command will print the data over the serial monitor the value of data either can be 0 or 1 if data equals to equals to high means we are comparing if sensors detect something then we are going to switch on the light by writing down the command digital write 2 comma high else we will switch off the light First, connect your computer system with Arduino and upload the code into the Arduino. This end will be connected to Arduino. This end will be connected to computer system. Select the port and also the board. Click on the upload button. The code is getting uploaded. The code has been successfully uploaded. Now this icon out here is a serial monitor. Click over it. As you can see the values are getting displayed. 1111 means the sensor is detecting something. Now it is 0. So this is how you can check the status of the sensor whether it is detecting something or not. Connect a wire from the ground of the Arduino to the second last row of the breadboard.
Now insert a 220 ohm resistor into the ground line and the other end of the resistor anywhere on the breadboard. Now insert the 220 ohm resistor into the ground line and the other end of the resistor anywhere over the breadboard. Now connect the negative pin of the LED to the resistor and the other end of the LED anywhere over the breadboard. Now connect a wire from digital pin 2 of Arduino to the anode of the LED. Now take the IR sensor and connect it to the Arduino by doing the following connections. Now connect the ground of the IR sensor to the ground line on the breadboard. Connect the VCC of IR sensor which is a 5 volt pin to the 5 volt pin of Arduino. Now connect the signal pin or the output pin of IR sensor to A5 pin of Arduino. Now power up the Arduino. So now you can see as IR sensor detects something the LED is going to get switched on else it will remain off. When a person enters inside the room the lights get on. When person moves out of the room the lights get off. At the moment the sensing distance is about this much. If a person is far away from the sensor, the sensor is not going to detect it. So we can increase the range of the sensor by moving the potentiometer available out here. Now even if the person is moving from this side, it is detecting it and the lights are getting on. So that's how we can increase the range of a IR sensor. So we have performed the automatic light activity. This concept can be used in making automated taps, automated lights and the robot which is known as a line following robot. The most common area of application of IR sensor is that it can be used in different type of projects. It can be used in making automated systems etc. So that's all about this activity. Hope you have enjoyed the activity. See you next time.